a little bit and it's like 10 30 now i'm going i haven't i have a shot in mind one shot and we're gonna go check it out um, but yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to uh, another day of shooting it's awesome Palms like a Christian, Two pills in a cup, now I'm twitching Light eyes, gifted, no stitches Thought I knew right from wrong, but I didn't So, I've, uh, I've pulled up to my spot here Um, it's basically like a logged area It was probably logged, you know, a couple decades ago maybe And they've replanted some trees And you got all these uniform, um, tall Same kind of width, same kind of spacing trees all over the place and the sun, since it's basically like high noon right now, um, is casting this brilliant like shadow on the snow. So you have this bright yellow white snow and then kind of these, these dark streaks of shadows kind of um, streaking across, I guess you could say, across the snow. And the snow has kind of got some textures and little mounds to it and stuff. So it looks pretty cool. Awesome. Actually, okay, I'm kind of fired up about that. Let's get this. Let's get this going. Yo. So I've got my shot kind of set up here. At least my first, my first iteration of this shot. Um, you know, essentially, I've got four trees in the frame, and you know, the sun is kind of located behind the camera, behind you there. And it's casting these magnificent shadows, you know, onto this pure white snow. And there's a cool little curve. There's some curvature in the snow caused by the trees. And it looks freaking awesome. I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm really liking it. I don't know. I'm liking it. It might not be a shot for everyone, uh, but it's nice. And, you know, the, the right side of the trees are catching the sunlight too. So that's kind of an interesting contrast. Um, I'm going to continue composing this and I'm going to get, uh, get a shot going here. That's funky. I think that's really funky. Well, that's good enough for now. I think I have some photos that I'm happy with. Oh fuck. I'm gonna be hiking out today and I'm gonna be shooting, um, hopefully, some star trail photography. Now I've never shot a star trail photograph before. I've done tons of like, astrophotography stuff um, with my wide angle lens. It's a fun lens to use and it's great for that kind of stuff, but I've never done star trails. Oh man, I'm walking in now. I'm seeing so many cool shots to take in this like perfect golden hour light. But I gotta stay focused. I gotta get to my spot here for the Star Trail shit. I can't, uh, I, don't, I can't afford to set up in the shot right now. Oh my god, there's two wolves. Oh my god, look. Look. No way. I have to get my other camera out. Stay there, please stay there, please stay there. Oh my god. 
Oh, he's far, man, but... Oh, he's really far. And it's dark. I'm hand-holding this. I gotta bump it up to like 2,000 ISO. Oh, it's not gonna work. He's so far away. Get the tripod out. Holy fuck, no way I'm getting this. Um, they're not even fucking running away. They're not even fucking... They're not even running away. Okay, they're kind of running away. I gotta be quick here. Oh, man. No fucking way am I seeing a wolf right now. I'm getting shots of it. Oh my god, I'm so fired up right now. <laughs> oh. So I just saw, that's probably not focused, but whatever. Two wolves just like on the ice there, on the way to the chute, and I had enough time to get, get the whole camera out and the tripod. Only have a 300 mil lens, they're pretty far away, so I'm, I'm not guaranteeing anything good, but super fun to shoot. Oh my god, what a fucking experience that was. That was so cool to see. And like, I think the composition actually is really good. Like this snaky, you probably can't see it here, but the snaky, um, I don't know, ice there with the dead trees all around and the lighting is just primo, man. Oh my god. Wow, I gotta tell my mom. <laughs> So I'm gonna make a bit of a call here. Um, you know, that was pretty cool, but fuck, man, they're like kind of like hanging out in the area I was gonna go shoot, and like I don't wanna. I don't know. I know wolves don't normally attack people. I know it's incredibly uncommon, but like still, I'd rather not risk it. Um, I've decided I'm just gonna kind of head back um, and just try to find something else to shoot on the way out. Like I mean, like it's kind of we're just entering blue hour right now. And there's still, you know, plenty of opportunity for good photography on the way out of here. So I'm just going to look for some stuff. Uh, you know, the lighting's gone, but, and we'll still get stars, you know. Maybe I'll find a cool composition and still do some star trails. We'll see. Let's, uh, let's get into it. Hell yeah. So that was, like, really cool. Um, I've been wanting to get into wildlife photography for a while now. And, uh, you know, I've been out, like, many weekends so far this year, and I haven't seen anything like at the most I've seen a few chickadees which are cool animals but you know in terms of wildlife photography they're not the, the greatest so seeing two wolves and getting a shot of them is holy fuck what am I doing here it's pretty awesome uh, they're not the best shots and in fact they're probably not very good but it's just like what a good feeling you know what a good feeling you know I want to really want to get into it more and I'll probably end up making more videos on that later on, you know, once I get more confident with it. I got some cool shots here a couple weeks ago, so maybe uh, it'll be kind to me again, eh? Yeah, I'm gonna go for something here. I like this. I like this a lot. We're gonna go for it. So I've got a shot here, and uh, honestly, I don't think it's anything super special. It's very minimalist, and uh, <laughs> that's all I can say about it. You know, 
maybe let me know what you think about it. It's again, it's it's nothing special. I'm not super happy with it, but I don't know. It's it's kind of interesting in a way. So let's go take the shot. Almost there. I gotta do a bit of tweaking, but it's almost there. does it for today at least um, unless I see something really cool on the side of the road on the way back maybe I'll stop but I think that's good I'm really happy you know what like the wolf shot might not be that good I'm not sure yet um, but it was a really cool experience and that's like that's really to me what matters I went out today and I'm, I'm just gassed up right now because like that was a super cool experience and then I think the second shot you know is kind of a ragtag little rinky dinky shot that I figured no I'll give it a give it a whirl and it I don't know I think it turned out pretty good at least in the back of my camera it looks it looks pretty awesome so I'm excited to see that on the computer um, but yeah I'm gonna pack it up for tonight I think